have you ever taken a semi-permanent break from dating because you just had so many bad experiences meeting guys? Or have you ever felt so broken after a bad relationship that it took ages for your self-esteem to recover? Or have you ever had an ex ruin your life long after you broke up because he wouldn't let go? Well, I have, and all of those bad experiences add up and all of those bad experiences change you because now you know that love is a minefield. It can blow up in your face at any time. And sometimes that risk just doesn't feel worth it anymore. Hi, I am Amy Waterman. I am a love expert here at yourbrilliance.com. And in this video, I want to invite you to become a relationship warrior. A relationship warrior is a woman who refuses to abandon herself in her pursuit of love. She takes up her sword and her shield and she moves through life with a warrior spirit that keeps her fighting for truth and love. When you are a relationship warrior, you know how to protect yourself. You're not moving through life scared, avoiding rejection, trying to please everyone, hoping to be chosen. You are moving through life strong and proud, able to take whatever hits come your way and never losing sight of what you're fighting for. In this video, I'll be sharing the three traits of the relationship warrior. And like always, if you want to stay connected, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a single video. The brilliant and beautiful Glennon Doyle came up with this idea of being a love warrior. And if you know anything about Glennon, you know that her biggest evolution as a person came when she chose herself and her desires over what society expected of her. It's a radical choice because we women are trained to believe that it's our job to make our relationships work no matter what. And if something goes wrong, it's our fault. Or if we're seeing a guy and it fizzles out, we did something to turn him off. Love advice puts all the burden on women. It's a woman's job to attract a man. It's a woman's job to flirt and keep the conversation flowing. It's a woman's job to get him to commit, and it's a woman's job to make him happy. So relationships end up feeling like this job we have to perform. And if we fail, it means that we're not good enough. Love warriors don't put up with that. Love warriors include themselves in their circle of love. If loving someone else requires that you deny parts of yourself or numb yourself or take on all the guilt or pretend you like something you don't, then it's not love. But that's just the beginning. I believe that we're also being called to become relationship warriors. Relationship warriors understand the dynamics of relationships. They're protected from whatever toxic stuff might get thrown at them. They refuse to allow themselves to be defeated or deterred by the obstacles in their way. Relationship warriors know that one of the biggest obstacles they have to outsmart and outwit is the wrong men. These are the men who don't even bother to try because they expect the women to make all the effort. These are the men who make us feel guilty for something we didn't even know we did. These are the men who love bomb us only to get angry when we ask to slow down. These guys are obstacles to love because they lead us away from the good men the men we should be with, the men who are our happily ever after. What makes it so hard though, is that you don't know whether any particular man is one of the good guys or one of the wrong guys at first glance. You're just showing up with an open heart. You wanna like him. You want things to work out between you. You don't have your sword and your shield with you because you have been taught that those things have no place in love. You've been taught that love means showing up without any defenses and trusting him and having faith it will all work out. And then when you get hurt over and over again, you are told to forgive and to not be bitter and to never lose hope. You know what I would tell you? I would tell you that this is warrior training. Each of those bad experiences is supposed to be teaching you skills that make you stronger. Skills like discernment, so that you spot those red flags before you get in too deep. Skills like boundaries, so that men respect you. Skills like focus, so that you don't confuse admiration and attention for the real thing. 
None of us wants to have to be a warrior. We just want to show up and be loved and love in return. We want to be the princess who sings in the forest so that her true prince will hear her voice and come find her. And I so wish it could be like that. But because we're dating in the here and now, in this world, we need to know that we can protect ourselves if necessary. We need some way of keeping ourselves safe. And that ability helps us in our search for love. Because when we know that we can handle ourselves no matter what happens, we can invite more new people into our lives and take more risks. Like, think about it. How would dating feel to you if you knew that no matter what, you would be all right because you know how to take care of yourself? Now, for me, that knowledge would have changed my life. But better late than never. And if you are ready to start your warrior training, here are the three defining traits of the relationship warrior. Number one is her warrior spirit. The relationship warrior knows what she's fighting for. She's not doing this for male approval. She's not doing this to please everyone or to have everyone like her or to get a relationship just so she can feel good about herself. She is on a quest for the big L, love. And she won't settle for anything less. She knows that love won't just fall into her lap either. It's this ideal that she has to strive for. She'll have to face adversaries. She'll have to face herself. She will need courage and grit and the wisdom to spot when she's being led astray. Because the relationship warrior doesn't buy this old story we've been told about love. And you know this one, that a man has it and that someday he'll give it to you if you are good and beautiful enough. And then your life will be so perfect. Except that real life doesn't actually work that way. Because even if you're in a great relationship, you still have to create love every single day, which makes love a challenge. And a challenge is what warriors always love best. Number two is her shield. The relationship warrior has a very effective shield that she carries at all times, and she never feels guilty about using. It's her no. She's comfortable with saying no. She's comfortable with setting boundaries and she's comfortable with walking away. She says no to anything that isn't love. She says no to anything that's about control. She says no to anything that makes her feel small. The beautiful thing about the shield is that it's incredibly effective at repelling men who want to use her or take advantage of her because men who want an easy mark cannot get past it. And meanwhile, the good men see it and think, finally, a woman who says yes when she means yes and no when she means no. Where has this woman been all my life? Number three is her sword. The relationship warrior sword is her word. So that's how she cuts through all of the confusion and the manipulation and the innuendo to get to the truth. She is direct with men. If she doesn't understand something, she just asks. She is not afraid of asking a simple question, even if it might reveal something she doesn't really wanna know, even if it changes things between them. So many of the messes in relationships are caused by our fear of saying something. And we're scared to say something for a reason because we've seen what happens. The quickest way to end a relationship is to ask a man where it's going, right? But here's what I want to suggest to you. If a man breaks things off with you because you asked him a question or you raised an issue, maybe he just outed himself because someone with nothing to hide doesn't mind an honest question. But somebody who's just using you doesn't want to be called on that. So don't be afraid to use your word. As long as you are showing up with curiosity and neutrality, your word isn't threatening to anyone. But the wrong guy will see it as aggressive and he'll like attack back because his ability to use you depends on it never being spoken. So when you show up in relationships with your warrior spirit and your sword and your shield, you can handle yourself. 
You're perfectly comfortable with saying no, so men cannot take advantage of you. You are perfectly comfortable with being direct, so men can't pull the wool over your eyes. And you keep your eye on the prize so that you're never distracted by guys who offer you everything but love. Okay, so tell me, what do you think about this idea of relationship warriors? Do you think it's important that we receive warrior training? And how would your life have been different if somebody would have told you these ideas years ago? Let me know what you think in the comments. And make sure to watch for my next video where I will be giving you the three tests that relationship warriors give men before they get in too deep. See you next time.